in three, two, one. Hi, I'm Zach. And in just a moment, I'm gonna attempt to send this oil filter shooting through this piece of plywood using nothing but the pressure of the atmosphere around us. Let's dig in. If you're not already familiar with it, this contraption is called a vacuum cannon. And it works on the basic principle of utilizing the about 14 to 15 PSI of atmospheric pressure that's naturally around us. So I'm just gonna slide that oil filter down in there and secure this end of the barrel. Now I've got a, a piece of plywood set up here. It's about, I think, 7 16 plywood. And I don't know if it's gonna go through or not. In case it does, I'm gonna set a second one up that I'm positive it won't go through. I wanna stay on good terms with the neighbors, right? Now the next step is to vacuum all the air out, but to do that, we need to seal off both ends. So I've got a, a seal here. If I had a second set of hands, I wouldn't need to tape this, but I'm just gonna temporarily tape this seal onto the end of the barrel. I've got some rubber on here to help it make a good seal. All right, that should do. Then I'm gonna turn the vacuum pump on and uh, it's gonna get a little bit loud. Um, so I'm not sure how you'll be able to hear me, but we'll give it a shot. So the other end is sealed off. I don't know if you can hear it in there, it's, it's sucking in. hold it anymore. I'm going to go take the tape off the other end. Now at this point, the only thing holding that on there, uh, each seal on each end there, is just the, the suction in the barrel. Now I've got a gauge on here. Now this gauge measures uh, inches of mercury. Uh, that's a measure of suction. Uh, down on this end, let's see what we have. Yep, that seems to be holding. This uh, seal is going to want to buckle a little bit as that sucks in. You can see that divot there. Here's our plywood. Clean, whole piece of plywood there. You know, no holes in it. Let's go see what our gauge is reading. Here's our little vacuum pump. Thing makes a little, little bit of noise, but that's good. Now, uh, a perfect vacuum with absolutely no air is right around 30 uh, inches of mercury. So we're at 25. Five and a half or so right now. Um, we'll come back when we get that uh, down as low as we can. All right, so it looks like uh, 26 and a half is about all we're gonna get out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut our valve here and turn our vacuum pump off. And we're at, yeah, about 26 and a half. If you're wearing headphones, you might wanna turn the sound down. This is gonna be loud. This is car oil filter through 716 plywood in three, two, one. Well, I was wrong about one thing. That didn't go through one piece of 716 plywood. That went through two from the end of the muzzle. One, two, three. We're at about 40 yards now. I saw that thing skip down through here. Where did it land? Yep, here it is. Look at that. There's a little dent in the side. Which way did I have that in? I must have had that in so it came out and punctured through with this. Wow. That's, what did we say, about 45, 50 yards? Let's go back up here and I'll uh, explain how this works a little bit better. Wow, I'm uh, kind of fortunate that that didn't go down across the road. I, there was more power there than I expected. So as I mentioned a minute ago, there's, I forget what the exact number is, somewhere between 14 and 15 PSI of atmospheric pressure that presses in all around us. You don't feel it usually because it's pressing on the inside of you, it's pressing on the outside of you, all around. Except when you fly up in a plane and the air gets thinner and let the atmosphere is less dense and that you feel that pressure um, pressure out or when you you know you land the plane you feel it pressure back in uh, and this so this just goes to show how much force that actually has on us right um, and so it's not until we suck all that out or really most of it that wasn't even all of it 
uh, and then violently let it back in when I knock that end cap off that air just goes rushing in and acts like a kind of like a potato gun right so yeah there's a lot of power in there now it's a really cool project to do but you might not have access to uh, a special vacuum pump and all this uh, you know space to, to work in um, you know they kind of frown upon doing this kind of thing in your neighborhood park so I've come up with a kit that lets you uh, have this kind of fun you know experience this kind of cool principle and just you know play around with it but at your pace at a, at a much lower cost and with more limited uh, limited space it is called the vac cannon that's right so the way this works it's a simple tube with a plunger that uh, helps create the vacuum instead of uh, using a pump so you just drop that plunger down in there comes with a projectile just drop that in all right so you just grab a regular piece of duct tape which uh, you probably have some of that at home right and uh, just seal off that end now you've got your projectile inside there you just seal that to the rim we'll just we'll just anchor it off to the end of our pipe right here now you could anchor this uh, to a tree it comes with with an anchor rope wrapped around a tree or a post or you can have a friend hold it or step on it whatever it's not that hard um, so you just anchor that to whatever you can and grab a hold of this anybody can do this just shoot it like that now that's what did we say 50 about 50 yards i think that made it about down to the road 150 feet out of this deal yeah so i'm selling these uh i'll have put a link to my website uh, down in the description and for youtube uh viewers only use promo code zach 10 to get 10 percent off uh, your first order of the vac cannon so go ahead and get yours why don't we watch this again this is car oil filter through 716's plywood in three, two, one. Three, two, one.